Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. For our agenda today in English, you are going to be working on mythology that somebody wanted but so chart. And for your GOAT research, I want you to go back and fix your pre-writing. And we're going to talk more about that in just a minute. For homework, you have your office hours check-in. So by Friday at noon, you need to either have come in and talked with me during my office hours from 10 to 2 every day this week, or you're sending me an email. Keeping in mind that that email, you need to have all of the pieces in that anatomy of a good email section of that document that's in Schoology. So please make sure you have all of those pieces. The Greek mythology story isn't due until next week, Monday. And the greatest of all time slideshow and the Flipgrid video are also not due until next week, Monday. So you still have plenty of time to work on those. By the end of our work today and this week, you will know more about Greek mythology and the research process. The skills that you need are thinking, watching, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. And as always, your level of participation and effort is what you bring to the work that we're doing. So for today, you need your Chromebook, you need any other materials that you think you're going to need, and your focus is going to be on Greek mythology and the greatest of all time writing. So yesterday, and I purposely waited until yesterday to check in and grade the work to make sure that people had the time to do those four things that needed to be done for our distance learning week one. There was the office check-in um, that, was, that was done by that last Friday, April 3rd. You had plenty of time to do the Greek mythology sheet and the greatest of all time pre-writing work during the, that week plus during spring break. And, and so what I did yesterday was I went through and I looked and I noticed that some of you just were making some careless mistakes. And this is kind of what I was talking about in the email yes, or in the email and the video that I did yesterday. Y you need to be focused on your work. This isn't, I'm just going to rush through it and I'm going to get done with it because that's not helpful. So what I did was a couple of things that a lot of students did with the Greek mythology is you didn't finish it. You, you didn't answer both parts of questions. You, you didn't answer things correctly. Um, when, when I talk about a nature myth, what am I talking about a natural phenomenon? That's, that's once upon a time, the Greeks didn't have this science thing. They didn't understand science the way that we do. And so they assigned all of these natural phenomenons. They said, okay, there is this God that's doing this. So Apollo is in his chariot and he's pulling the sun from one side of the world to the other side of the world. And that's how we have days. Okay, so, so that's what I'm looking for when we talk about natural phenomena. If you didn't know what that meant, all you needed to do was ask or watch one of my videos from the first week because I mentioned it in there. Um, for theme, what's the, the one big idea? What's the lesson that we learn? And where's the evidence? The evidence, open quotes, copy word for word, close quotes, page number. And, and that's right in the instructions. So some of you aren't even just looking at the instructions. You are going through quickly just to get the work done. With the greatest of all time research, again, I'm looking for list. And, and all of the information that you need is in the video that I did. I made a video where I showed you exactly how to complete the pre-writing. Um, I explained the idea that you need to make sure that you're, you're using good sources. Google.com is not a good source. And you need to make sure that for any images that you put into your slideshow, you put the picture in the slideshow and then the web address from the picture in the, on that same slide by the picture. Otherwise, you've plagiarized. And for the greatest of all time work, especially, you, you have to have the pre-writing done correctly in order to do the slideshow in order to do the flip grid. So if that first piece isn't done correctly, you need to make sure that you have the information and you have it done correctly. Otherwise, the rest of it, you're not going to get a good grade on it. So I'm going to be spending time today. I'm going to unsubmit everything 
that people submitted um, for the pre-writing and I want you to go back and I want you to fix it. If I put in not a valid URL, you got to find the valid URL. If I say I want something in a list and you did complete sentences or you went and copied and pasted, you need to fix that before you work on your um, on your slideshow because I don't want complete sentences in the slideshow. I want bulleted lists just like you have in your pre-writing. So do not submit anything to Schoology before Thursday. Make sure you understand the work. Make sure it's complete and it's done well. If it's full of typos, that tells me you rushed through it. You have a week to get all of this done. There's nothing that says you need to get it done on day one. And done doesn't mean done well. So check it and recheck it. If you have questions, email me or stop in my office hours. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you be successful. But again, 99% of the time I'm going to give you what you need. You need to give that 1% of using your resources, asking questions, and thinking about this as when you get to college and you are sitting in a class but the work has to be done outside of class, this is where you're building that skill. Some of you wish you didn't have to go to school and you could do online learning. This is online learning. You're given tasks, you're given your resources, and then it's up to you to figure out what you need to do. So if anything, you look at this as practice for that online learning because you need to start to, to think about how you're going to approach this, at least for the next few weeks. When we're back in school, um, we can we can talk about what works, what doesn't work, and, and things like that. But right now, we're in this distance learning, and you need to do what you need to do to be successful in this distance learning. So reach out to me if you have questions. Again, I will unsubmit anything that was submitted for the greatest of all time pre-writing so that you can fix what you need to fix before you move on to the slideshow. So my office hours today are from 10 to noon. Please stop in, send me an email with questions. Please make sure that you're doing what you need to do and please let me know how I can help you. And again, no shenaniganing, perpetrating evil, wreaking havoc or purveying mayhem and please don't forget to come back.